Okie dokie, right I'm just about to start installing this SOG unit on my uh, motorhome um, as you can see it's uh, it's for installation on the um, chemical Lucaset and uh, the reason for that is to stop you needing to use chemicals um, so okay so I'll just back up a little bit so I've got I've come up to the motorhome which is in storage and I've got all the bits that I think I need um, I've been through the instructions so it comes with a bunch of instructions I've read through those a couple of times and worked out which tools I think I'm going to need to do um, I've got then uh, all the, the tools I need, I've picked up a drill, um, uh, they're the bits for the actual SOG unit itself uh, and that is where it's going to go. So uh, on this motorhome it's a B544 2001 model so it's got a C200 Thetford cassette in it. Uh, all I've done so far is just giving the door a quick clean so that's where the, uh, the exit outside of the uh, uh, SOG unit is going to go um, and that's it really. So. Uh, we're all prepped to go. So I'm a little bit nervous about this because I'm going to have to drill a great big hole in the side of the van uh, and various other bits and bobs so I've been putting off for a day or two. Uh, I'm doing this on my own so I'm going to have to keep uh, stopping the filming um, while I'm doing bits. So uh, apologies for that but I'll try and uh, show you all the bits that I need to do. So all I'm going to do really is just work through the instructions step by step uh, and I'll just do a quick film of each bit as I go. So uh, right I'll stop now and uh, start the first bit. Cheers! Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is um, probably the scariest. I've got to drill a big hole in the side of the van. Uh, so what I've got to do is drill a, it says in the instruction, the 36 to 37 millimeter hole. Um, so what I've got is a, uh, a hole saw. Uh, it's got 38 on the side, so it's actually 38 mils. It's a tiny bit too big, but uh, I've measured it about 16 times just to be sure. And I've also checked it against the, um, the fan that it's going to be making the hole for, and it is uh, about the right size, almost exactly. So. Uh, what I've got to do then is, I've got the, the kit ready um, for the fan um, and it says that then the housing needs to be, uh, just check again, so it needs to be 5 millimeters from the door frame. So it, with this one, because the cassette's so far back it doesn't really matter exactly where it goes um, because there'll be space on the inside for the fan and the little bit of electrics that's going to go on, on that bit just there. So what I'm going to do is just try to pick a spot that looks okay to me. Um, and I'm just going to use a uh, marker pen to mark out where to cut the hole and, and then cut the hole through. So, uh, <laughs> wish me luck, here we go. Okay, I'm not all the way through yet, uh, but what I've found is that the hole saw I've got isn't quite thick enough to go all the way. So, um, fortunately it has poked the hole through on the inside, so I'm now going to drill it from the other side. There we go. Uh, I think I've got that right, so I hope I have, otherwise I'll be buying a new door. Um, but there you go, so that's the hole on the inside, it's just swinging open. That's the fan that's got to fit in, so the fan should go in just like that. There you go, so it will face in towards the hinges like that according to the diagram. Uh, and then if I just spin it around, it's going to fall out, it's open the door I think. Actually fold in there, that's what it looks like, it looks like that on the other side. Uh, so now I've got to seal the hole up with um, silicon to stop any uh, smells getting in there. Uh, so that's my next job, uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll fit the fan. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a silicon gun. Um, I'm just going to use that to uh, get a bit of silicon on the inside of the hole, so uh, you can see where the uh, foam is. The, um, the, 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 the wood on the inside, the metal uh, fitting on the outside, I'll seal all of that up, uh, make sure that's nice and uh, um, watertight, uh, and then uh, I'll get on to fitting the fan. It's got a spot we've got a spider under here. <laughs> Wonder who must have been wondering what was going on. <laughs> I'll have to uh, set him free. Okay, so right, I've siliconed the inside of the hole. Now I've got to mount the fan with the uh, the inlet for it pointing towards the hinge. Um, there's four screws that you've got to do that with. And I've just been looking at the screws trying to work out which ones they are, and then I realised all exactly the same screw, so it's got to be four of those puppies. So uh, I'm just going to screw that on and then I get on to uh, mounting the external uh, cover for it. Okay, that's the uh, fan screwed on. So it's pointing towards the hinge as it says. And the outside bit, uh, I'm just waiting for the window up here, waiting for the cover to go on. Uh, so it says for this that you need to um, pop a bit of silicon on the inside of it to seal it. So I'm just going to do that around the edge here uh, and then I'll screw that on. Um, then I'll come back and uh, Put the charcoal filter in and put the front on. 
Okay, dokie. Right, I've got the front on now. Uh, it's a little tiny bit awkward that, because um, you're trying to hold it on with the silicon on it, and uh, and then trying to screw one of these in as well. And it's quite hard this, so uh, you're not supposed to put uh, a pilot hole in. It's according to instruction, you just to sort of drill straight in. So it took a little bit of getting the first one in. Once the first one was in, I just then uh, pivoted it on that to get it so it's about um, square with the door, uh, and then put the rest of them in. The rest of them are going okay. So it seems to be nice and uh, well sealed. So I'll put the uh, charcoal filter on, um, and then the door cover, and then we'll go inside. Cool. Okay, so that's the um, uh, charcoal filter that um, the air gets blown through, so that should re reduce the smell coming to the outside world. Uh, this is the cover, so the cover goes on at the top like that, and then it pushes in. And then underneath it, there are a couple of uh, screws in there, so I'm just going to pop those in to lock it in place, and then uh, that's the outside done. Okay, there you go, that's the outside on. I'm just trying to show you from this side a little bit, can't see it because there's a caravan in the way. Um, the screws that go in the bottom, I think you've actually got one in because they only appear to have one left. Uh, it's a little bit awkward because you've got to try and push it, and you've got to try and push it shut and try and get the, the screw in right to the far edge close to the, uh, the front where it says SOG. So uh, I've got plenty of spare screws so I'll just pop the other one on later on. So that's now the front of it, looking good. And, uh, and there's the back with the outlet facing the right direction, the electrical connections. So uh, I'll move on to the next set of instructions. So I'll just whip the cassette out first, I know I need to do that, and then uh, I'll get going on the next bits. Okie dokie, right, the next bit then is to um, take off this valve that's on the cassette, the excess pressure valve, uh, and fit this uh, the end to the pipe for the SOG unit, that's the bit that's going to um, pull the air through it. So it says with that, you turn it um, anti-clockwise until it's all as far as it will go, and then you turn it back a tiny bit, and then it should just pull out. So uh, I'm just going to do that now. Oh, that was easy. So uh, it's come out okay, a bit dirty. Um, but I think that's now gone, I don't think I need that anymore. So now I'm going to take that out and uh, fit that one in. Um, and then uh, let's come back to the video. Okay, so I've popped that in and just twisted it around. I'm sure there is a method where you do it, I'll just twist it around a bit till it's popped in and then uh, slotted in place. I took the um, end of the hose off because I found it a bit easier to do that. So uh, I will, I think I'll just use the cap now. I'll just pop the cap on it for the time being. <coughs> just cap it off. There it says. There you go. Right, so that's that bit done. Right, moving on to the next bit. Right, the next bit's another little bit, a scary bit, like drilling a hole in the front. So um, there's a couple of types of bracket that you might have, one, either this one or this one, inside your uh, cassette. Um, you have to take it out and cut a bit off it and put it back in again. So just had a look in mine. Uh, there it is. And uh, that's the bracket there, so I can see it's the second one. Um, it's got a few screws holding it in. So I'm just now going to whip that out and uh, work out which bits to cut off. And then I've got a hacksaw and a knife to cut them off with. And then I'll put it back in. Okay, I've just started taking the uh, saddle bracket off, and uh, this bit here is attached um, from the back um, to the bracket. So when you undo it, that bit drops down, uh, and it's got this uh, a little sort of like um, rubber screw thing on it. So uh, I need to make sure I put that one back in the right place. Also, I've dropped one of the screws down the back here, so I have to be a little bit careful with that. But I managed to get it back. It's easy to get it back. To be fair, you just push it to the end and pull them out. So. Right, I'll get the next one out and then uh, can get the cutting done. Okay, so that's what the saddle bracket looks like on um, on this one. Um, and looking at the instructions, the bits I've got to do are I've got to take this piece of rubber off, uh, and then I've got to cut along. I've just drawn a black line. I've got to cut along that line there, and then I've also got to take off this the vertical bit of this where I've drawn the black line at the bottom, um, and then I've got to put it back on. So I've got a hacksaw and a knife and my fingers. I'm going to try and keep those out of the way and uh, cut that bit off. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've taken the right bits off. So the rubbers, I've cut the rubber off and I've hacksawed along that bit there and uh, I tried cutting that bit with a knife but it was too hard so I've just hacksawed that piece off just there. Um, and I'm guessing that's enough. So I'm going to try putting it back in now and see if the cassette will fit with the, uh, the hose bit. Alright, wish me luck. Okay, so I've got the bracket back in. Uh, it was a little bit, a little tiny bit fiddly, partly because I hadn't remembered where the screws had got to come from, but it wasn't that bad. Um, this 
hose by the way. Oops, I mean, this hose here just pulls off and slots back on. That's easy. Um, yeah, just keep track of where you've actually uh, taken the screws out of it. It'll make it easier to get it back in. Right, on to the next bit. Okay, the next part is to um, connect the switch that works out whether the um, blades open inside the toilet and switches the fan on. Uh, so that's the switch. Uh, it's then on a wire that's got some uh, wire in the middle, black and red wires, and then some wires at the other end. So the wires in the middle, if I've got this right, need to fit to those wires there, um, which are inside the cassette, and then the wires at the end go to these wires here. So the next bit is to work out exactly how to uh, get this bracket in the right position so it, uh, it knows when the blades open. Okay, so that was a bit fiddly, I'm not sure I've got it right still, so um, the switch needs to be down, if I lift it down here, as far as I can tell it needs to be at the far end of this rotatey bit, so as it rotates round, get my other hand in there, as the switch mechanism is opened, it opens like that and then you can hear the micro switch, you can't hear it but that's the only way I can see to get it to work, so I think that's in the right place there. So I've got to drill a hole in here, pop a rivet in, uh, the plastic rivet that comes with it to make sure it's uh, sealed in the right place and then hopefully that's the right spot I'll find out as I, uh, as I put the cassette back in and see if it works. Okay so the next bit is to drill a 5mm hole, uh, so there's a hole already in the bracket so I've just got to drill a 5mm hole in the plastic uh, so I can pop this, this rivet that needs to go in, try and hold it in place so I've got a 5mm drill bit, I'm just going to pop that hole on, stuck a bit of tape on so I don't get to drill too far. Uh, and then I'll pop that in uh, and hopefully uh, that'll hold it in place nicely. Okay, so I've drilled the hole uh, and at which point, because I was trying to drill through the bracket, it fell off and there was bits all over the place. So it's probably worth uh, just marking up where the hole needs to be and drilling it first before you put the bracket on. Um, and then it didn't seem to be that sticky afterwards when I put it back on. So I'm hoping it's okay, but we'll uh, we'll see. It needs to be. I'll have to take it off later and uh, glue it back on with something a bit more uh, potent. Okay, on to the next bit. Right, I'm just trying to work out where to unroot the wires and I've noticed that uh, I put this on the wrong way around earlier on so it needs to be facing forwards. Uh, so I've, uh, I've replaced that, put it in the right position and I've popped the cassette in um, and I can see that there's a nice clear cable run for the cable to come out and go across the top there and down towards the uh, connectors need to be on that side. So I'm just going to secure that in place now and then uh, get the connections made and uh, then we can test the fan see if it works. These are the clever little things used to secure the, uh, the cables in place. So it's just a little sort of plastic thing with the, um, some uh, uh, sticky back on the back. Um, so you just stick that to wherever you want and then just root a cable tie through it. Stick it on. So I've stuck the first one on up there. Uh, and now I'm just going to root the cable tie through it and tie it in place. Cut the cable tie short and then put the next one on and bring it down to uh, where the connections need to be. Uh, I think there's, t there's three of these included. So there's two for doing this bit of routing and there's another one that's needed on here to... Uh, stop this lot flapping about so uh, I use two inside and then that last one on the outside. Okay so I'm now connecting up the uh, the cable to the, um, the electrical supply inside the van and this bit's not described particularly well in the instructions it just says to connect the uh, cables together uh, it's usually brown to red it said so that's what I'm going to go with because that makes sense that's what it normally is uh, and they've supplied these vampire connectors so I'm, that's what I'm going to use because I'm guessing that's what you're supposed to be using so I think the way they go is that uh, like we've got it on the, the one at the back there if you can see that but uh, the thick cable from the van will go through you just slide it on um, into the big hole and then the uh, the thinner cable that's on the uh, the wire here will go into the uh, smaller hole and you just clip it together like that um, yeah, let's see. <laughs> I'll give that a go and see what happens. Uh, okay, so I think that's worked. Um, they were quite stiff to do, so I had to use a pair of pliers to just try and help um, close them up. Um, so we've got uh, blue to, um, sorry, brown to red and black to brown there on the vampire connectors. So now I'm just going to connect up these uh, wires at the end here. A bit like to trim it a little bit because it's a little bit loose. Um, and connect those to those. There's a couple of blade connectors that come with it, so uh, I'll do that and then secure this bit in place on here, uh, and then I can give it a test. Actually, this probably won't cut it down. It's not that much spare. Oh, maybe I will do a bit. Okie dokie. All right, next bit. Okay, so I've trimmed the cable off a bit because there was quite a lot of excess. 
and uh, even with the door wide open it's still got quite a little bit of slack there. Uh, I fitted the um, little spade connectors that come with it, they're a little bit fiddly to do, you have to remember to put the plastic bit on first or it won't go on. Um, so now I'm going to connect those up to these uh, and give the, uh, give the fan a test and, uh, and see if it works. Okay, so I've just connected everything up uh, and uh, given the, uh, uh, the valve a test, uh, just tried sliding the thing across and it didn't work. So uh, we've got a bit of uh, work to do to try and work out why not. I'm guessing it's probably these, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I've not worked out yet why it's not working, but uh, it's just started to lash it down. So um, I'm having a brew. <laughs> Get back out there in a minute. Right. Uh, I've been home because I couldn't work out how to do it um, uh, and I've picked up this puppy so I've got my multimeter and worked out what was going on so the vampire connectors were both on okay um, I realised after a bit you have to clamp those together with a pair of pliers to get the uh, the metal to go in properly but that's done now still didn't work so uh, I popped the multimeter on there and found that the brown and blue colours are the wrong way around on the van so you can see now I've got the red connected to the blue. And to be fair, in the instructions it does say to check the polarities right, and uh, I didn't do it, so I've done it now. And if I just open the little uh, thing up there, you can hear the fan going. I can, we can hear it. So that's it, jobs are good in. So uh, I've checked that everything goes back in, and I'll just pop it back in again, and then I'll just uh, finish the video off, and then you'll, uh, you'll know how it's all been done. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, so I've just connected the uh, pump hose back up to uh, the uh, cassette and earlier on I'd slipped that on the end there. It does say to trim it down if it's too long, but this seems to be okay. So I'll just slot it back in. There we go, so that seems like the length of that seems to be okay. That's not tight or anything. And the same with that one, there's plenty of play. Uh, I've put the final connector on there just to hold those two uh, tidily in there. Um, and then when I close it off, it all looks to be okay. So, so there you go, that's it. Sog unit installed, happy days.